real life Hot Wheels. Have you ever wondered if the little Hot Wheels cars that you collect are real? I'm here to tell you that they are. Whoa, check it out. You're not gonna wanna miss this because this is the highlights from Hot Wheels Legends Tour of 2023, starting off with Twin Mill. The Twin Mill's journey started back in 1969 with its designer, Ira Guilford, and it became the first ever in-house design Hot Wheels car. To celebrate such a fact, in 1998 for the 30th anniversary of Hot Wheels, this car was commissioned. It would become the very first life-size car based on a Hot Wheels design. However, it took until 2001 at the SEMA show to actually unveil her. It makes 1400 horsepower, could do the 0 to 100 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds, has two B&M blowers, two Chevy 502 cubic inch big block engines, a TH400 transmission, Wilwood disc brakes, and massive rear tires for the traction. Everything on this thing is handmade fiberglass body. To open it, the door is a power packer hydraulics that raise the canopy in the back. And of course, custom red line striped tires and five spoke mag alloy rims that pay homage to the original Hot Wheels red lines. Started by Boyd Customs until they went bankrupt and then picked up by Carson Lev and Karen Custom Industries, that's how this thing got built. Those are my clips from the Twin Mill at multiple different stops. Now let's go check out my favorite Hot Wheels of all time. It's the second car they ever built into a real life car based on a Hot Wheels car. It's Nathan Proche's Dior 2. Built by 5-axis design and chip boost, and again Carson Lev, it costed three quarters of a million dollars to build. Powered by a supercharged Cadillac Northstar engine with 400 plus horsepower and a top speed of 150 miles per hour. It has a custom hand-built cab forward designed body, two surfboards in the back that pay homage to the original Diora that Elliot Handler had put in, and a custom built 24 inch rims wrapped with Firestone tires that keep this car rolling. Which was tekuized last year for 2023.
This next car is all too familiar, designed by now Hall of Famer Larry Wood in 2006, it's Bone Shaker. However, this version is not the 2011 version, but the 2022 version because it was actually the second Bone Shaker built. The first one is actually in the UK at the moment for the recording of the Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge TV show. Both, however, are built by Action Vehicle Engineering, and I expect that both actually match each other's specs. The first one includes a Chevrolet 350 V8 engine, making 402 horsepower, a top speed of 160 miles per hour, and now let's hear that thing roar!
next Wednesday, I will be unvaulting my real cars exclusive with Accelerys. So stay tuned. Next week, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get into some more Hot Wheels cars, shall we? This section will include the Midas Monkey, the Coco Camaro, the Loop Poop, the Darth Vader, and Corkscrew Buggy. Enjoy. Wait, there is actually more. If you checked out that playlist, I have every single event from 2023. I talked to Hot Wheels designers, Hot Wheels fans, so many more awesome things. So go check that out. And thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the join button, $5 a month. Thank you, Accelerate Seatress 3 and Ratchet RPG01 for that. And buy the merch. It's Vert Wheeler, baby. JC Legoman 10302.rebable.com. Let's get to 10,000 subs, shall we? All right, I'll see you on the flip side. Stay blessed and be there. Be squared. May 2024 is where I heard it's at.